Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm making pastelitos de guayaba, which is uh, puff pastries, guava and uh, puff pastries. So um, the ingredients that we're gonna be using are one can of guava paste or pasta de guayaba. We're using one egg to, because um, I have to use that for um, the outside of the pastries when I'm, um, like an egg wash, I'm making an egg wash. Then I'm using, um, you can use any puff pastry, but I'm using Petrus Farm puff pastries, because this is the one that I'm only finding in the store. And I'm using cream cheese. Um, you can use any kind of cream cheese, that's what I'm using. Filled up with cream cheese, but you can use whatever um, you find. So we're gonna start. So I'm gonna beat one egg. The egg I really don't need at this moment, but we're gonna beat one egg anyway. And um, just to have it ready. Guys, before you watch any further, please hit the bell so you'll know when I'm gonna put up new videos. And um, some people put water in their egg wash. Um, you really don't have to, unless you really want to. It's not necessary. I never do. And uh, my uh, pastries come out nice, a nice golden brown. Okay, so that should be good. So I'm gonna set this aside. And I'm going to open up the box of paste, puff pastries. Now, these puff pastries, they come in two uh, up here. So, and you want the pastries to be in room temperature. Um, also, you want your cream cheese to be in room temperature, a room temperature, so you can um, spread it easy. And the um, guava case, you can find that in the um, international out in the in the supermarket. So this is how it comes, like this. I will tell you, really soft, because I think I left it out too, too long. So you don't want it to be that, that soft. Okay, the um, sheets. Um, I have another one over here, but this one right here has a lot of flour, so I'm just brushing this off because you really uh, don't need all the excess flour. I mean, it's good when you're um, rolling it, so it won't stick, but. I'm just leaving the sheets the way they are. Okay, so that's good. Let me see what this one looks like. Okay. Yeah, see it's a lot of flour. And I think it's because I probably let it sit. And I uh, it got too soft. That's probably what happened. Uh, yeah, so that's probably what happened. It's sad. Got too soft, so I might have to put this back in the refrigerator because it's, it's too soft. But I'll see what happens. Okay, it's a lot of flour. Now I have to brush this out of the uh, tray. Look at this a lot of flour. Okay. Right. Um, if you buy a can of uh, guava paste like this, um, they have a you have to open it up this way. So we're gonna. Open it up and you peel it just like a regular can. Let me move this over. Put this down. It's kind of hard to open it this. Okay, see, that's how it looks. Okay, and to get it out, you're gonna need a, uh, I'm using a butter knife. So just run it around along the edges. I have a video on how to make this homemade if you want to make this homemade. I like making it homemade. Okay. I'm probably not doing such a good job with this, but. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this in half. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to use it like that. That way I can get it out of the can. And I don't have to worry about trying to get the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna move this because I'm only gonna use a half of it. And I need to put this in the dish. So let me use this. All right, so um, we're gonna start cutting the, oh yeah, as far as the, uh, have this room temperature, I don't know if I mentioned that before. I'm gonna open up this cream cheese. I'm gonna put it in a little. We're gonna start off by making, um, putting some, we're gonna try to make one, two, three, four, four, so four, 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 that's 12. So about 12 of them. You can probably make them well, let me just see what happens. Uh, what I could do is this. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it like this. That way I won't miss anything. I'm gonna put it straight down the middle. That way I can cut it the way I wanna cut it. I'm gonna do it like that. One. Normally I don't do it like that, but today I just want to change up and I'm going to do it a little different. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some sugar into the uh, cream cheese to make it a little sweeter. Um, some people don't do this, but I like doing it because I like to make the cream cheese sweeter. Um, so you get, you won't just get salty and everything is just sweet and delicious. Okay, so it's already soft. You see how easy it is that I'm, how easy it is to spread or I mean mix rather. It's really easy to mix. That's why I told you to leave it out room temperature because it's easy to spread. It's easier to uh, to uh, mix. Okay, let's see. Let's mix it all up. And so what we need is a little dollop of this on top of the uh, guava, the guava paste. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop a little of the uh, cream cheese and I'm gonna spread it. I'm gonna take the other one and we're gonna lay it right directly on top just like this and just stretch it I'm doing these a little different tonight I'm trying to do this fast and get out of the kitchen this is just a treat for Sunday if it was for a party I wouldn't do it like this I would do it fancy all right so now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it this way and I'm gonna slice it in a minute. Straight down like this. I'm a little crooked, but it's all good. All right. And then I'm going to slice. I'm gonna try to make these a little thin. I'm trying to see if I can stretch, get a, a lot out of here. All right. I'm gonna try to make, uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna make, but let's see what I can get. Good, we will not be putting this on video. Oops. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I'm just noticing what I forgot to do. I forgot okay. to put the egg wash on. But that's alright. You're still gonna do it now, right? Yeah, I guess I have to. Put the egg wash on first, but so now I'm gonna put the egg wash on.
So this is gonna bake at 350 for 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna start making the glaze. I'm gonna put a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of water. And then I'm gonna let it boil until it turns into a thick um, syrup. We're going to use this brush and we're going to brush straight across. Uh oh, you have a little bit there. them into a serving tray. Well guys, here you have it, my delicious pastelitos de guayaba y queso crema. These are so delicious. These pastries are to die for. Um, most of the time you can find these in bakeries, in Cuban bakeries, but I love making these for my family and they go like hotcakes. So um, I wanted to share this video with you um, so that you can see how delicious these are. And uh, um, I'm not going to teach you guys anymore. But anyway, look at the guava. But anyway, um, I have to go now. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. Until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.